Hey you guys, it's Shandera. What is up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. And in today's video, we will be trying Kate Somerville Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. So this is sort of like a physical exfoliation mixed in with a chemical exfoliation, meaning it has AHAs in it. So I'm really excited to put this to the test. With that being said, five ounces of this product will run you $24. And um, yeah, I just forgot the price because you know this thing is a little pricey. Two ounces of this will run you $85 and five ounces of this will run you $175. So Kate Somerville, okay girl, I see you with these prices. <laughs> That being said, you guys, let's go ahead and swatch this product. I'm only going to use a little bit for this swatch due to the fact that um, this product is a little pricey and I actually like this product. Um, so this is what the swatch looks like. Can you guys see? Let me turn the light down just a little bit. Um, can you guys see? Um, it sort of looks like uh, green tea, matcha green tea. And look it, now it looks like murky swamp green. Um, well, Swamp Green doesn't really look like this, but it's a really dark green. But that is the swatch of the product. What do you guys think? Okay, so when you first smell it, it smells sort of like glue. And then when you continue to smell it, it smells more like glue and cinnamon. Um, when I first smelled this, it smelled like cinnamon. And then I kept saying, it smelled like glue. It's a lot going on here. It's really unscented. They don't have a scent to it, but it really smells like it's giving me cinnamon and glue teas. I don't know why, but it's just giving me that. Okay, so it says apply a thin layer to clean wet face. Um, I really don't know what a thin layer is, so we're going to do this together. Um, I'm going to just apply it the way I've been applying it. So normally I just do this. So I let my face be wet and literally I apply it like a face mask um, all over my face. So I'm going to just show y'all how I just show y'all how I do it. Um, this is just me. I'm just applying the last little thick layer. I don't be applying an even thin layer because you know my skin likes thickness. Um, so for me personally, I apply it like a mask because this thing has like little, it's a gentle exfoliation. After I've applied it as a face mask, I just massage it into circular motions like the direction say. That's just what I do. Um, you can leave it on as a mask, but you know, I like to feel like the dead skin cells are rubbing off my skin and giving me brighter youthful skin while the AHAs that are in this product is helping renew the skin as I am rubbing the dead skin cells away. <laughs> So, you know, every time I do this, I feel like um, my skin is being, my dead skin cells are being sloughed away and the brightness is coming to me. Like my skin is going to shine bright, shine bright like a diamond, honey. Okay, you guys, so it's been two minutes and the mask is not dry, it's just wet. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my face off and we are going to do the reveal of my new face. Okay, you guys, so we're back. Here is my cheeks. Let me turn the light down. There we go, now I look flush toned. <laughs> um, What do you guys think? My pores look real small now, you guys, don't they? I don't even have to get the mirror, but I'm gonna get the mirror because my pores just look small. Okay, like it looks like I virtually have no pores. Now, if I could get a moisturizer to do what this, uh, what this product does, we would be okay. <laughs> um, here is uh, my forehead. What do you guys think? It's a little inflamed, um, but what do you guys think? Here is right here, the back of my cheek, my jawbone line. Oh my God. Y'all don't, don't dislike the video. <laughs> here's my other side. And here's my chin. What do you guys think? What do you think? Um. Wow. Mirror, mirror on the wall. 
Let's talk about it. Okay, you guys, so K Somerville's exfoliate, intensive exfoliating treatment is a very long title, but it is very powerful. This product is no joke. I really enjoy this product so much, but I will say this, depending on how long you keep this on your face, um, depending on the climate you live in, um, if you live in an arid desert climate, this can be a bit drying. Um, this can flake on you and peel on you after you use it. So let's say you apply it to your face, you rub it in circular motions for 30 seconds, you leave it on your face for two minutes and you have dry skin. Once you take this off your skin, I personally have seen with my skin, and I don't even have dry skin, I have combo skin. Um, I've seen, um, but I have combo dry because I live here in the desert. I will say I've seen days where I don't, if I don't add enough hydration, if I use the wrong SPF, depending on days when I do use this treatment, I will get a bit of flaking and I will get a little bit of pilling. So my suggestion is make sure you have a really good toner, a very hydrating one. When you use this product, I just suggest going with hydration, a lot of hydration. I don't care if your skin's oily. Um, I don't care if it's dry. I don't care if you have acne prone skin, you can't take too much hydration. If you are going to use this product, which I do think is wonderful for oily acne prone skin, but if you are going to use this product, you need to go in with a lot of hydration. And if you're going to go out the next day, I suggest you have a really great SPF because this product is really strong and is no joke, but it does wonders for the skin. And you can instantly literally see your pores reducing. You can virtually see no pores. Like, I mean, you know, I kind of see why it is the price it is. And if I had, you know, the $175 price tag, I definitely would buy this more often than I do. This is a really great pop product. And for me, now this is how I do it. Um, I mean, I show you guys how I apply it, but this is how I do it. When I cleanse my skin and I use this product, I just get really inflamed and it just makes my skin look worse and I get a lot of texture. The texture does subside, but what I notice that works for me is when I use it and my face is not clean. So if I'm having a day where my face is just really gunky, uh, my pores are clogged, my whole chin is looking a mess, this is when I go in with this product and I don't use a cleanser at all. And after I use this product, um, then I go in with a hydrating toner, a serum, and a moisturizer. That's just what I do. I don't cleanse after this product. And it's always in the shower, oddly enough, because this product is really not a product where you could sit like a face mask and have a self-care moment. I know they want you to believe that, but this is really a treatment. I tend to just go in the shower with it. That's how I do it. Um, that's just me. You don't have to do it like that. And I notice as opposed to using this out of the shower and not using this in the shower this stuff depending on how thick you use it or how thin you use it if you don't rinse it off your face really really well you will have residue from this product so that's why I prefer to use it in the shower because when you have residue with this product it just feels like really sandy <laughs> that's, that's just for me that's just what happened to me and I noticed that when I'm in a shower depending on how I have the temperature which I like it hot I know it's bad to have a hot shower but I just like a hot shower I like it so since I like a hot shower like the steam makes everything just feel so much better with this treatment I kid you not it's the best thing so if you have this product try it in the shower girl just try it in the shower once I'm telling you and you are going to be just amazed by the results that's just my opinion because that's just how I do it however you know after the treatment the hot shower your face is gonna be really dry as a prune 
<laughs> so hydration, hydration, hydration. I cannot stress enough with this product. You are going to need hydration. It is not over drying for me personally. I just want to stress this. It's drying for me because I live in a desert arid climate. If you live in a humid climate, um, even California is well specifically LA is really like medium humid dry. It's really humid to me now because I've been in Arizona so long. So every time I go back to LA, it's just humid to me. But it's you know living there from when i did it was just dry but now live now going there oh it's humid it's humid and that's just la so just depending on your climate this could get really drying but it's not a drying product i do want to mention that it's not drying it just really depends on the climate you know skincare is just like that depending on your climate depending on your skin type depending on your age depending on all factors you know skin acts weird skin acts fickle depending on the time of the month depending on if you having a good day depending on if you having a bad day your skincare can act funny that's why i like to test products a little longer because i'm like mm, depending on if i'm having a bad day because i've noticed certain skincare products if i'm having a bad day they be they be acting funny so <laughs> I literally have a routine for when I'm having a bad day. I use this type of skincare because I know it won't make me like break out. <laughs> With that being said, I like this product. Have you guys tried this product? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of Kate Somerville's? Woo, let me go get it again. Kate Somerville's Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. What do you guys think of it? Have you tried it? Do you think it's perfect for all skincare types let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below with that being said you guys i want to thank you so much for watching this video make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites i love you guys so much and i'll see you in our next video bye you guys Mwah.